Hi, welcome to the Lion Brian Yarn Studio. We're here with the fabulous Margaret Radcliffe for the book launch of her newest book, Circular Knitting Workshop. A genius of a book with one, <laughs> we just found, challenge for a book signing. Oh. <laughs> but fear not, we have silver pens, so it's all going to be okay. So welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be here. Well, I'm, I'm really excited about this book because mm -hmm. as simple as, for, for those of us who knit in the round a lot and for those of us who don't like to seem, yeah, okay, I'll admit Imagine it. Imagine that. I'm a finishing complainer. Um, you know, something that seems on the surface such a simple subject, actually when I really started to delve into it, I realized, yeah, there really is a lot there. There's enough for this wonderful book. So what was the original impetus for this idea? Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, you know, on each of my books I've thought, I don't really have anything to say, and then I end up with twice as much as will fit inside the book. And I have to say, I don't remember what the original impetus was really? for this book. Um, but we were looking for a project, I was working with Story Publishing, my publisher, something to follow up my first two books. And I realized that what I had not been unable to include in um, The Essential Guide to, Guide to Color Knitting mm -hmm. Techniques was a lot of the circular techniques that underlied it. And so we, so we discussed that and it became apparent as I started thinking of all the things I could put in that there really was enough for a book. And There's in fact, quite a lot. I ended up cutting five chapters oh. that I had planned to make because as I wrote it, I realized this is going to be way too long, so there might be another book. Oh, so then are you allowed <laughs> to tell me the title of, or the subject matter of one of the cut chapters, just as a tease? Well, I, do, I can't guarantee it's going to be I, in the I understand. Next book. Okay. I understand. No, I, Don't uh, hold my intention to this. was to have a set of chapters on circular fabrics. So to have a whole chapter on twined knitting, and a whole chapter on stranded knitting, and a whole chapter on helix knitting. <sighs> but it was obvious that there was simply no way to get that into the book. So what I did was just to include the bare minimum of information about those techniques so that the projects that practiced mm. them had enough information that you could get a sample of, of what it was like working with those. A little something to whet your appetite. Mm -hmm. and, and double knitting and tubular knitting and it's just, you know, I could write a book on each of those. I, I'm, I'm set for life. All right, we're going to hold you to it. Well, <laughs> the thing, one of the things, my favorite thing, because mm -hmm. I, I just, I, I'm a, a cast-on um, junkie and we teach a couple of cast-on classes. I love the cast-on section. Thank I mean, you. people sometimes just whiz through that step. Mm -hmm without a lot of thought, they find one cast on, they think, oh, this is my cast on. And the illustrations are fantastic. The pictures are really clear. And I love the picture of the finished cast on. So you could mm -hmm. see, oh, they're not all the same. Well, you know, we have a, a treat tonight, if I'm allowed to talk about tonight. Yeah, we yeah. are a we lot are. to talk about tonight. Well, I discovered that Meredith Baber, who knitted the first the first section of the first chapter of the book is now going to Columbia University, oh. and she's going to be here tonight, and I'd like to introduce her to everybody, but she was the one who knit a bunch of those finished cast-on swatches. I just, I thought that was a brilliant idea, because yeah. it does, it's so incredibly picture-rich. So many wonderful illustrations. I mean, it really mm -hmm. is, it, but it's not dry at all. It's also got some, you know, gorgeous, fun pictures. So there's a lot of, there's a lot to inspire you to dig in. Thank you. So I, I, I love this book. And of course, we all love Knitting Answer Book, that <laughs> adorable little book that can pop into your knitting bag and, and live there forever. So did, have you ever thought of just writing just a knitting question book? I'm not going to answer anything. Just, just raise the questions? Yes. Yeah. And then well, just let it fly. I feel like all the other books that I, or the other books I've written and may write in the future are the things that I couldn't fit into the Knitting Answer book. No, oh, but but um, I was thinking before we started talking that that um, what you may not know is that the Knitting Answer book has been translated into six other languages. I did not know You that. didn't know that? I did yeah. not know that. Um, okay, say cast on 42 stitches in six languages. No, don't. I, I'm just kidding. I didn't do the translation. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> well, I'm so excited. I see a table full of samples over mm -hmm. there. And of course, I'm very excited for um, Sunday. You're teaching two classes right. with us as well, Helix mm -hmm. Knitting, and Seaming Without, without sewing. sewing. Right. Which, I, if you might remember from four minutes ago when this YouTube interview began, is something that I'm very interested in. Mm -hmm. So um, thank you so much for joining us. I can't wait to hear the talk. I can't wait to be in the classes on Sunday. And check out this book. It's gorgeous, informative, and fun. It's pretty much your, your triple threat. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Goodbye from the Lion Brand Yarn Studio.